There's a new kind of coding where you fully give in to the vibes, embrace exponentials, and forget that the code even exists. That's how Andre Kaparthi described vibe coding. But what exactly does this mean? At its core, it's surrendering control of your code base to AI. Instead of writing the code yourself, you communicate with a large language model like Claude through prompts, guiding them to generate the code for you, only stepping in in absolute emergencies. The vibe part comes from focusing on the outcome rather than the implementation details. You're no longer concerned with detailed syntax or structure, you're just vibing with the AI, telling it what you want, and letting it figure out how to build your project. Etienne, the CTO here at Weaviate, has been doing an experiment vibe coding an entire database from scratch. Surprisingly, in just three days, he was able to create a working columni database that could aggregate 10 million objects on disk in less than 160 milliseconds, all through prompts, not writing a single line of code himself. If you've ever used a tool like Cursor, you know how much it increases dev speed, and how frustrating it can also be when I can't figure something out. But I've been using it for a while now, and honestly, it's just getting better and better at doing things right or figuring out its mistakes. So is vibe coding going to replace engineers? I actually don't think so, but not for the way you might think. A lot of developers criticize vibe coding, saying, oh, what are you gonna do when there's a bug? And true, but it's quickly getting much better at handling things like this. No, where I see the biggest difference is the knowledge required to ask the right things from the AI in the right way. There's a huge difference between a prompt like build me a database written in Go and replace the stateful file handlers so we can support concurrent query. So no, I don't think vibe coding is just for newbies or non-techies. And no, I don't think AI is necessarily going to take your job. But I think an engineer who uses AI might.